Hello, and welcome to this edition of Panther News Nation. I'm Skylar Stock. And I'm Brady Turnbaugh. Here's what's happening around Principia this week. For the first time in Principia's 125-year history, the boys' varsity basketball team has made it to the Final Four. They won the Elite Eight in overtime on Friday with a final score over the Cooter Wildcats of 46-43. to Skylar and I bring you highlights. With Principia going to the Final Four and all the new facilities, it seems everything is coming together. The timing is just like happenstance or like it's just fortuitous that everything is just coming together at one time. But the reality is like seeds have been kind of planted years ago. This building has been a work in progress for, for a long, long time. So it's just kind of this everything aligning like really well. It's been kind of a, a cool demonstration to see everything come together. It's been really exciting. When you put in the effort, when you're, when you're a good teammate, when you're respectful, when you're doing things in the right way, the wins just come. It's a byproduct of, of, of all that hard work. And so that's what we're feeling right now, is, is, is a lot of years and years and years of work. And it's fun to kind of play around in the spoils a little bit, but we're just getting started. It's a hike, but if you can, come cheer on the Panthers this Friday night in Springfield. Wearing red uniforms at Prynne is typically a controversial subject among students. Some like it, some don't. And while reg is not going away, we may soon see some changes. Shea Stewart and Blake Crow have more. In talking to students, we discovered varying opinions on reg. Yeah, I think one of the benefits of having a uniform is it's just that. It's um, a way for students to reduce stress in options and having to keep up with fashion fads um, and being able to be consistent in knowing what's expected and what's allowed. With all the changes coming up next year, we question whether or not the uniforms will change at Principia. My understanding, Reg is supposed to be there to kind of like help show unity at the school. To like show everyone's on the same page, it's nice, clean, whole, modest kind of thing. It's helpful if the uniform is of high quality so that there's students feel comfortable. And so I think that's where we're working with Land's End right now is to um, put more pressure onto what do students want to see and wear within that uniform um, that could be accommodated by a bigger brand like Land's End. I know that for the boys, the pants are kind of uncomfortable, so the guys don't really wear Land's End pants a lot, but for the girls, I think there's more options. Makes people more annoyed than anything, especially with how it's so restrictive to one company. You can only buy everything from one company being Land's End, and you can't do anything else. You can't wear any type of brand, or you get demerits or in trouble, which is just not fun. Overall, I think that we're doing the right thing. This is Blake and Shay reporting for PNN. And while a few changes may be coming, it's safe to say they will not be this semester. And finally, there are a few schools around the country that have a Bible program as dynamic as ours. As Magnus Needham and Travis Beckwith report, that is evidenced by the significant growth of Bible classes. We are doing this as we go along. Mr. McDonald says this is the largest Bible class he's ever taught at Principio. With over 30 students in one class, Bible is more popular than ever. The Bible program is an opportunity for students at Principia to learn scripture. And it's an incredible book of 66 different books that span thousands of years. This is the opportunity for Principia students to get out of themselves and learn more about God through His Word. I think that people are starting to realize how beneficial the Bible program can be to everybody. I really love whenever we get to have conversations in class and just learn more about how we can express the Bible. It's just somewhere where I feel really comfortable to express myself and just enjoy being a part of the Bible program. Students say they like the structure of Bible classes more than most. I like the structure of the class. I'd say Bible 2 is definitely a step up from Bible 1 because it's more independent in Bible 1, whereas I feel like in Bible 2, your like beliefs can be very independent. You don't have to come in with any sort of experience. Also, the note-taking, because I can look back at it as we go to Israel, and then I feel like I'll just know a lot more stories and have a lot more to connect to when I go to Israel. 
while graduates of Principia might not all become literature or English students or maybe they're not all going to have a career in math, the goal, I think, would be to say that they're all people of faith. Emac says a big motivator to take more Bible classes is, of course, the Israel and Greece trips. This is Magnus and Travis reporting for PNN. And the Israel trip leaves this Friday. And that's our look at what happened around Principia this week. Remember to head to Springfield this Friday and support our basketball team in the Final Four. Make, Make it a great, great week. week.